Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now I've previously done a video on Action Launcher and I've also done one on Nova Launcher and I'll have both links in the description below so you guys can check those videos out. But today we're going to be going back to Action Launcher to see how it's progressed and to see the newest update. So, let's take a look. Okay guys, so one of the best things about Action Launcher is the way that you can customize the look of the actual launcher itself. So as you can see here, the status bar at the top where I've got my Google Launcher and also the app drawer and the side pullout bar are all completely different depending on which wallpaper you have. So as you can see, I've changed this orange wallpaper. As you can see, everything completely changes. So again, the Google search bar is now an orange to match the wallpaper and we've got some nice gray colors for the app drawer and things like that. And again, I'm just going to choose one other wallpaper, and this one here is just a completely blue wallpaper. And again, everything is then going to change as well. So you've got some nice dark blues in the app drawer, the side pull out bar, and also the search bar is also a blue color as well. But that's not as far as you can go. You can actually go in and actually change pretty much anything that you need to, whether it's the search box, the app drawer, or the quick draw. You can go and change all of that as you need to. We've also got some default and material options as well and the one thing that I like about the default option is it kind of uses both the light and dark material design as you can see here it looks really nice on the Moto X. You can also see that there's been some changes to the search bar so whether I want to go into YouTube, the camera or just have a look at my Twitter feed using Phoenix you've got the option to do that. And like most things with Action Launcher, it is completely customizable. So again, if you go into the settings of Action Launcher, go down to Quick Bar, and you can see here that you can change, add, or rearrange any icons that you've got in there currently. Now, some icons currently aren't supported, so if you want to, for instance, put the calculator in there, then unfortunately it isn't going to have an icon. But if you want to use some of the more popular applications like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, then you've got the option to put that in there, as well as some stock ones like the Play Store, voice search and also just in general a search option and that's pretty much going to do it guys for this update on action launcher pro now if you guys want to see an update to the previous video that i've done then go crazy on that thumbs up button down below and i'll be sure to make a brand new video going over everything on action launcher including the shutters covers and also everything else if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below also if you guys have got any custom launches that you want us to have a look at here at copper versus glass again leave it in the comment section down below on twitter at copper versus glass or on google plus which is actually where i'm most active if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe for more great content and again i'm michael from copper versus glass thanks very much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video